it's a case where tooth number 19 is missing. Extracted a long time ago, maybe six, seven months ago, I didn't extract the tooth. So there are a couple of things you want to do is um, when you prepare. Now the software has two, uh, has um, the, let's call it the dashboard window, mm -hmm. has four parts. It has the cross section, axial, panoramic view, and 3D rendering. Okay. Now you can minimize as much as you want, maximize as much as you want if you press space bar, okay. you can focus on that. So that when you plan a lower molar, there are two things you need to do. Number one, you need to map the nerve. So you see what it says, preparation for planning. Okay, is this the home site? This is where you start off? This is you start off here. Okay. So um, basically, so you've downloaded this, the... Dicom images are the in. Dicom this is an Itero image. scan. You see the Itero scan has, has an opposing. See this? Mm-hmm. She's like a class three. See that? So you don't have a wax up. Okay, that's what we're doing Can right you do now. A virtual wax sure, up? we'll do a virtual because okay. it's only one tooth. But let's map the nerve first. So click on the nerve. Okay. Okay. Now, obviously, we just need the left nerve, so it's obvious here. We just trace it, and just for fun, we'll Can just you go see through the cross section and look at where the foramen is. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to move oh, the jump it right up there. I'm going to move the cross section to roughly where the foramen right is, which is here. Okay. So I know that I can continue. And then what I like to do is pass it through the foramen. That's it. Okay. Important to save. Okay? That's it. That's it. That's mapped. Okay. The second thing that is important next virtual tooth okay what they want you to do is give them the curvature on the buckle so I'm just gonna kind of go to the coronal part of the of the teeth wherever they show up and I'm just going to pass like make like a line roughly okay roughly and then I'll click next pick the tooth number 19 it's going to throw in a tooth and finish. So it's it's going to throw it roughly in position. What I need to do is move it into position, rotate it. I can look at the occlusal. Mm -hmm. This is pulling it in. This way she had a little bit of a mesial drift, as you can tell. Okay, roughly, you see she does not it's not perfect, but it gives you an idea what the tooth is supposed to be. To be, I mean, the marginal ridges are gone. She has some, some type of restoration, but it's pretty adequate for a wax up. And you can look at the contours of the adjacent teeth. You can look at the lingual contours. Let's say you get this taste, and the contours of the adjacent teeth aren't that great. Then it's not good enough. You say then you okay, then do a wax up. Then do a wax up. Or. I'm asking when you work with a restorative dentist, um, the treatment plan, rest, restoring the proximal rest, the proximal teeth after the surgery, before the surgery. You know, this is getting a little bit more of the nuances, but the you know, nuances are important. Yeah. So, so, the so let's say contact oh. is not in an ideal situation because the neck, the tooth next to it has wear from the. Okay. So, so let's say let's take this case as an example. So let's say. Okay, the crowns here, the contours These suck. These are reasonable. They're reasonable, but let's say they suck and you need right. to change them. You need to basically make the space mesodistal a little bit narrower. Mm -hmm. Then you have two options. You can, you can place this virtual... First of all, you can make a, a proper wax up and scan it in. That would be the most accurate, mm -hmm. in my opinion. But you could technically make this tooth a little bit smaller and take this into account in your right. planning. Okay. But I would not know how much and, and how to do that. Right. All, all I care about is, you know, when I plan the implant, I want it to be in the middle of the yeah, occlusion yeah, axis. Yeah. I guess what I'm saying is if that tooth is flat because a burr hit it mm -hmm. and you need a, a, an anatomic contact, 
then you're starting off with your, your implants got a flat. So contact. you have to you have to take it into account. Right. You have to take it into account now. You can't touch the teeth until the surgery is done because the surgical guide is going to fit on top of it. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. That's it.